And we're down here at Craven's Farm. Hello, Thomas Eddie, all that. And there should be thousands of pinks in here rolling right now. Considering this is going to open in a week. This used to open August 1st. And you could come down to this spot right here and limit in an hour. There were so many fish in here. And I've seen a little pocket all the way over there. And that's been it. And now when I say a little pocket, I'm talking a very few fish rolling. And that's it. There's nothing rolling here in here huh that's weird it's not good either it's an outgoing tide too because on an outgoing tide they start showing themselves big time they start jumping and everything and i've not seen anything up by monroe we didn't see anything salt and we saw a few pockets of fish up there but not the amount of fish that we should be seeing right now there should be thousands literally of fish in here they're going to open it in a week for four fish a day? Give me a break. You'd be lucky if you get a fish. This literally should be just boiling with fucking humpies in here right now. They're catching them in Puget Sound. And they're really late coming in. Or they've all been grabbed up by you know who. Yeah, see, I mean, they're just not even rolling. Wow, we'll, we'll go down to the new boat launch. That's going to be the cutoff point. From there down river, you're going to be able to fish. Because you're like that first uh, 15th of September or something like that. And then the, re the rest of this river opens up up in here and stuff. Hopefully, these things are just really late. But I got a funny feeling they're not late. They're just not going to show up. I have never seen it like this. In 50 years of fishing this river, I have never seen the Snohomish River down here by Craven's Farm with nothing rolling at this time of year. Usually it's boiling with fish. By now, we're usually up river playing with them. Two years ago we were. Me and Mike were sitting up there at Salton, been banging the shit out of them. And we went down to Monroe and did the same thing. Came down here open day last uh, two years ago and just went right down here in front of me, right down there, you hop down on the rocks. And I limited a couple of different times down there real quickly. You just watch these big schools come in, but I'm not seeing any schools in here. There's, just, there's literally nothing rolling in here. Well, we'll go down river and take a look, but I hope to God I'm, they're just late getting in here. If not, it's a pathetic run, which usually means that they all got scooped up. I wish the state of Washington would pull their head out of their ass and ban all commercial and tribal fishing in Puget Sound. Make a moratorium on them. Explain to me how a king salmon, a wild king salmon, can be listed on the Threatened Species Act and uh, people be able to go legally catch them. You can make an amendment to the Constitution, but you can't make an amendment to a treaty? Hmm, that's ridiculous. Shows you how weak our government really is. Yeah, and there's nothing in here. There's a little pocket of fish over there, and I bet they've already gone up and around the corner. Unless Thomas Eddy is just loaded with them, but I can't see that because this is where they start stacking up. This is all tidal influenced. It's an outgoing tide. This is when they start jumping. Yep, there's one right there. Like I said, they should just be boiling in here. Like I said, you're seeing that that's definitely a humpy. They don't really jump, they just kind of sploosh. If you're only seeing a fish, there's not a, a lot of them with them. Well, we'll go down river and see what's down there. But I'm not seeing anything up here that's pressing the hell out of me. It might not even be worth going opening day. Well, we came down here to the boat launch in Snohomish, the new one. And there is absolutely nothing down here. There are four other guys down here, one of the guys from the city of uh, Snow, uh, Snohomish down here, we're chatting with them, and they said, you know, they haven't seen diddly squat come in here. There are not even seals in here. Well, they're going to open this in a week, and boy, are people going to be really disappointed. Because if you don't get big schools of fish coming in here, 
like today, there's not going to be anything in here to spawn. You know? If we get a big flood this winter, it'll wipe out everything that spawns. And there's fish out in Puget Sound. In fact, my son was at the Mud River Dam because they're doing work there. They're getting, they're trucking 10,000 fish a day up and around that dam. So where's all our fish? I know where they all are. They didn't just disappear. So this is pretty lame, but yeah, if this thing is, I mean, I'm going to come down here opening day, but I'm not coming down here early. It doesn't look like it's worth it. All I want is six fish to make up for the 12 skeins of eggs I've used up already in the last two years. Hopefully next year they open it for kings and I can use my eggs. Otherwise, I'm pretty much going to have a freezer full of eggs that are absolutely worthless. And I'm not driving everywhere to go fish anymore, man. I'm too old and I live... 200 yards from the Skycomish River. That's why I bought the house. And now I don't even get to do that. Well, if you guys go out fishing opening day on this thing, let me know how you did, because it doesn't look good.